شكرا Good morning lovely people today is Friday it is the 7th of September yes we are in September summer is over the weather is reflecting it but we are not going to let the crappy weather dampen our spirits we're going to continue on we're going to get it done because that's what we do you don't care about the weather <laughs> you don't care about the weather it's just after 9 a.m i just fed the dogs and i've just taken a delivery from dun, 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 muscle food I haven't done one of these in a while so i'm going to show you what i got that's new but yeah and my daily regime continues Today I weighed in at 112.4 pounds. I hit a new low in last week of 111.6 pounds. However, I wasn't feeling the best and I wasn't eating enough. So sometimes if you haven't eaten a lot of food, the food volume, you are gonna see a fake drop on the scales. So don't be surprised if as soon as you start eating again, it goes back up again. Today, I'm gonna take you through my day as I do my cardio. I'm gonna walk the dogs and it is currently raining. So I'm gonna wait till that kind of goes away so that we don't get too wet because we don't wanna, wanna wet the hair. Then I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna train back and biceps. To be honest, the last couple of weeks, I haven't gotten a proper bicep workout, so this will probably be quite painful. I've gone in, I started with back, and then something has happened, I've gotten a phone call, or I've just gotten tired, and I've just not trained biceps. So today, we're gonna start with biceps, and then do back. Because I will do back, because I love training back, but biceps not my favorite so i kind of skipped it the past few weeks but we're going to get back to it sometimes that happens you just get back on track it's okay to have a bad week in the gym it's okay to have a bad week of diet it's okay to not feel motivated for a week because it comes back and you can get it back it's not gone forever you have a bad week you don't go to the gym you eat a load of crap you don't feel motivated you weigh in, you're up on the scales, you're feeling fat, you're feeling sluggish. What you do is you get back to it. If you sit back on your laurels and just let that happen and let it get worse and worse, are you gonna feel any better? No, but you will feel better if you try and do something about it. So that's what we're doing now. Today I am wearing the full Vital Seamless in two different colors. I've got the blush pink on and this, I'm not sure what the color of these are. I think they're like a bluey color, but they're like a blue wash. And the Vital Seamless will be out soon. If you want to buy anything from Gymshark, they have some amazing stuff out right now. The girls line is just getting better and better, but I have a link down below. And if you use it, it is directly linked back to me and I super duper appreciate it. So I'm just gonna take you through what I got on my muscle food, a few bits, not at all. And then we will then we'll have some coffee because I haven't had coffee yet. I have a decaf first with my collagen. Collagen is great for skin, hair, nails, anti-aging. That's why I take it. I've done a whole video on it before, so go watch that video if you're confused about why I'm taking collagen. And we'll get on with the day. So I'm just gonna take you quickly through a few of the things that I've gotten. So a couple of them are for Lex targeting his higher fat diet. So if you are on a higher fat diet and you're trying to get those fats in, I'm here to help. So this is a very meat heavy delivery. I've been preparing a lot of chicken thighs for Lex because of the higher fat content of them, but um, I don't want him to get bored of eating chicken every day. So um, Muscle Food do actually really good offers on burgers. So we have these grass fed steak burgers. Now, these are gluten free. They have 18.9 grams of fat per 100, and I think they are about 200 grams each, so that's a decent amount of fat. And then we've got 18 grams of protein as well, low on the carb, so there's not much carbohydrate added in to kind of bind the burger together. I have 12 of these, then I have some of these cheese filled burgers. If you haven't tried these before, oh my God. The cheese just oozes out, oozes out. You can put some bacon on top. It's just like, yum, like delicious, delicious. There's no describing it. Then we have some steak mince as well, just to make up some like bolognese,s chilies, things like that. I know it's a lot of red meat. He would not be eating red meat every day. It's not very healthy to eat red meat every day. I will be mixing that up with other things like the chicken thighs. Now these ones here, 
we have some of these taste chicken. These are just so handy for on the go for me because I'm always running and racing. I've got appointments, I'm going to the gym, I'm always out and about or editing videos and I just don't always have time to prepare myself something super nutritious so it's good to have those handy little protein sources of chicken. I also have these because again, convenience. I'm just thinking about how to feed myself rather than going for protein bars and protein crisp snacks like that. I prefer to be getting some kind of something a little bit more nutritious in. I saw this, it's a new one from Muscle Food and it just looked really good and just especially for Lex I thought it'd be nice in like a sandwich or something, a wrap and it's like shredded salty beef and it has 10 grams of fat per 100. It comes with a mustard pickle so yum my standard lean, eat lean cheese i get through a lot of this i add it to eggs i add it to my dinner i add it to everything because it's yummy and the macros on it are amazing for 100 grams 100 grams guys 100 grams like almost half of this packet it's only three grams fat and there's 36 grams of protein so cheese is actually a really good source of protein if you're not vegan or if you're not dairy free and we have some chicken breasts for me because i love my chicken breasts i've been eating so much chicken that last night i ate salmon and my tummy did not agree with me did not like the fact that it wasn't chicken so i'm gonna have to try and diversify my diet a bit more because i've been eating a crap ton of chicken. And we've got my egg whites. Now I use this for baking. So if you are watching any of my baking videos or my baking blog on Gymshark, this is where I get my egg whites. I get them from Muscle Food. I get three liters and that usually does me for about a month. You can freeze them. I'll probably freeze one of those cartons, but they have quite a long date on them. They're at the end of September. So I'll probably freeze one to keep me going. Okay, I saw these and they looked yummy. They're fit bakes. Now, they are a little bit smaller than I expected, to be honest. I thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger and bulkier, but I just got a couple of different flavors just to try them out. So we have, um, for this whole pack of sweet potato brownies that actually look quite good, it's five grams of fat, 26 grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. I wouldn't consider this a protein snack because it's only four grams of protein, but still vegan and good macros regardless. Um, these ones, obviously, peanut butter queen. I'm gonna have to try and hide these from Lex because yummy. Um, for the whole pack, and they're kind of like little, I don't know, like little donuts. I don't know if you can see them there. And they, they're like filled with the peanut butter and it's 8.2 grams of fat, 19.8 grams carbs and 12 grams of protein. So these actually are a protein snack. So we've got protein in there. And then these are for Lex. So I don't like lemony flavored, citrusy flavored things. So these have two grams of fat, um, 23 grams of carbs and 9.5 grams of protein. Again, um, these would be considered a protein snack. I think you have to have over a certain amount of grams of protein in a product per 100 for it to be considered a protein product. But yes, these are above five apart from the brownie. So that is it, that is what I've gotten so far. There's actually one more box to come. It hasn't been delivered yet. I've had a screaming match with DPD as to where my box is because I was like, hmm, I'm missing some stuff. So we're going to go and have my um, collagen coffee and some I have banana bread made. If you haven't seen it already, it is up on the Gymshark blog. I have the Gymshark blog listed down below. You'll be able to see all my recipes there and you can even like print them out. They're in very clear format with nice pretty pictures. It's collagen coffee o'clock. I have my coffee here all weighed out with some of the Califia Farms chocolate almond blend. If you haven't tried this, excuse me excuse me tappy tapperson if you haven't tried this it just makes your coffee taste like a mocha and it's yummy i only have about 25 ml of that then i've got some of my fudgy banana bread with some of this golden fiber syrup if you haven't tried this it's so good just for on top of yogurt and i'm using it like a honey on top of the banana bread right now and if you haven't tried my banana bread recipe why not i have just completed my cardio Fringe is still growing out. I was at the hairdressers yesterday. We have a plan. We have a plan. Lex is just out running in the miserable weather. I'm gonna have some breakfast. I'm gonna walk the dogs and then I'm gonna hit up the gym. So for breakfast, I am having protein oats or pro oats. And this is how I make my perfect creamy protein 
oats. I'm going to use one sachet of the Quaker Oats, the honey and almond flavour. To that I add a pinch of salt and about 140 ml of water. Now I'm just going to simply stir it, put it in the microwave for one minute. So it has been microwaving for one minute and as you can see it is starting to cook up nicely. This is the point where we add in 50 ml of our liquid egg whites. Now I know this sounds strange, but honestly guys, this makes it super cakey and adds in the extra bonus of protein. Now we're going to put that back in the microwave for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, take it out and stir it. This is what prevents it turning into scrambled eggs. And we're just going to microwave it again for a further 30 seconds. Again, we just stir it all through and as you can see, it's getting more of a cake-like texture. Now it is at this point where I add in my protein powder. I'm simply going to add in about 15 grams of this PhD. I really like it. I got it half price from Holland and Barrett. I like to pick up bargains when it comes to my protein powder and this one tastes really good. I am yet to try the grenade protein powder but I have a feeling I will love it when I try it but this for now is going into the oats. So we have 15 grams of the protein and I'm just going to add in another 30 ml of water and then mix it all through. This is what prevents it going all gloopy and gross. This will just literally make the perfect pro oats. Well combined we stick it back in the microwave for another 30 seconds, stir it and then another 30 seconds and then it's ready to consume. So there we have the creamy, cakey oats. I'm going to add on the chocolate chips just to make them super chocolatey. About eight grams of the chocolate chips and some of this fiber syrup. Again, I just love it and it goes on everything because it's super sweet. And that's it. That's my protein oats. These are the perfect bowl of protein oats you are ever going to have. having an oat milk coffee and one of these oat teen bars. It's not my favorite flavor, but it's okay. So I've been to the gym, I've had a quick snack and now I'm absolutely starving because I'm after spending the last two hours, well, practically two hours getting my lashes done. So I feel fresh. Well, not so much my face, but my lashes fresh. So I'm going to go home now and have to walk the dogs. I haven't walked them yet, so I'm going to have to bring them on a mega walk now to compensate for the fact that they didn't get their morning walk this morning. They just, it was very wet. So back home to the doggies, get something to eat. I'm starving. I'm absolutely starving. Might have one of my ready chicken things that I showed you earlier. So I'm in and as you can see, I'm wrapped up because England has decided that it is winter, even though it's obviously not. I'm going to walk these naughty puppies because they're driving me crazy. I've just eaten one of these and it was really yummy actually. Kind of forgot how nice they are. You know, when you haven't had something in a while. So I'm going to go walk them, try and get my steps in because obviously if I don't walk them, I don't get my steps in as well. So not only am I hindering them, I'm hindering myself. Do that, then 
trying to decide whether we are going to have some dinner in or go out because we're going to go and have some drinks because it's Friday night and you know need to get out and about and do stuff so I just had some of this Nando's chicken that is up in the Gymshark vlog super yummy we decided to eat at home because I checked the menu for the local pub and they've changed it and they didn't have anything really that would fit my macros so we're gonna go up and have a drink now but that's what you can do you can always just check menus if you're going out for food and you can see if you can like amend it or change it to suit your requirements so don't get put off by going out for food but you can also ask them just to cook things differently ask for sauces on the side ask for them to do things differently but today i just thought it'd be easier just to cook for myself so we are going to go get changed do something with this and go to the pub and have a drink as you can see i have glammed up slightly i'm doing something voluminous with the fringe right now when i curl it which seems to be working we're going to walk up to the pub have a couple of drinks, have a bit of a relax because it's Friday night and that's what people do on a Friday night. So I'm going to leave the video here. I know it's been short and sweet, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my bicep and back workout and you put it into action. I hope you enjoyed my wicked pro oat recipe. You will get the best protein oats if you do it the way I showed you. I promise. Tag me in it, ladies pro oats. And I will be back very soon with a physique update hit me up down below with suggestions for videos what you want to see in my upcoming footage make sure to hit that like button and if you're not already subscribe because if i only had a hundred fans i'd take them all to dinner talk about the people that we used to be if i had a hundred fans fly them all to paris ain't nobody paying i'll be buying the drinks and we would party and we would dance